Cristiano Ronaldo, the man who needs no introduction. Considered the third richest footballer in the world, with an estimated net worth of $450 million, 32 trophies, including seven league titles, five Champion League titles, and six domestic cups. Winning both on and off the pitch, Ronaldo was the first person in the world to reach 500 million social media followers. Wow. Passionate, hardworking and charming, CR7 has built a respectable brand that has revolutionised the world of football and celebrity. But is all that about to come tumbling down? This is the story of Cristiano Ronaldo. There are a lot of very angry Manchester United fans right now. Cristiano Ronaldo has exposed his beloved club in a tell-all interview with Piers Morgan. I'm going to talk you through Ronaldo's comments, the story, the fallout and what the future holds for Manchester United superstar. Let's get right into it. 37-year-old Cristiano may be reaching the end of his career, but there's no doubt on how hard he's worked to get here. To understand why the world has turned against CR7, we need to start from the beginning. Born on 5th February 1985 in Funchai on the island of Madeira in Portugal, Ronaldo grew up in extreme poverty with his brother and two sisters. The family had nothing. His mother was a cook and his father, Jose Dinis, who was a gardener, wasn't involved in his son's upbringing. He was an alcoholic, an addiction which eventually led to his death in 2005. Ronaldo used football as an escape and played for fun out on the street. At the age of 11, Ronaldo's life changed forever when he was spotted by a scout. Begged for food on the streets, expelled from school, Ronaldo experienced a lot during his teenage years. From humble beginnings to one of the most famous names in the world. Fast forward many years, Ronaldo became the golden boy of Manchester United, Real Madrid, Juventus and then Manchester United again. Sort of. So Ronaldo has sat down with Piers Morgan of all people. He talks about the lack of investment in Manchester United uh, as a club, him coming back to United uh, and seeing that nothing's really changed since the last time he was here. He talks about how he was in his teenage years, everything's still the same now. Uh, things like the jacuzzi, the infrastructure, the technology, the, the kitchen, everything's pretty much the same. Nothing's developed over the years. CR7 actually interestingly also talked about Juventus and Real Madrid and how they have a different mentality and how they run things quite differently. Ronaldo also spoke about how he didn't feel supported by Ericsson Hag or the board when his daughter was in hospital, which is, which is quite sad and disappointing. He felt hurt by senior execs at Manchester United who doubted him. Ronaldo also sort of throws Eric Ten Hag under a bus, which sort of explains why he's been off ill recently. I don't have respect for him because he doesn't have respect for me. Words spoken by Cristiano. You could argue that a boss is a boss. Uh, it's the equivalent of me having a nine to five job and going on LinkedIn to have a rant about my boss. You, you just don't do it. The small teaser that we've got so far, Ronaldo really goes in on the manager and it's a case of that relationship between them is at the moment appears to be beyond repair. It's clear in a way now that you look back at it that the, the trust and the respect between the two has never been there. If you don't respect the manager, you, you don't respect the club in a way and you don't respect the fans or the new direction that United as a team are, are trying to go in. In a way, Ronaldo didn't want to be there. Eric Ten Hag didn't want Ronaldo. He was hoping for him to leave. The board should have sold him. But obviously it came down to money and they didn't want to let him go based on what they paid him and the wages that he was on. Eric Ten Hag had one opinion, Ronaldo had another. That relationship became toxic. And this is the result, this is the fallout. I thought this little bit from Ronaldo is actually quite interesting where he references Picasso. So he said, as Picasso said, you have to destroy it to rebuild it. And if they start with me, for me, it's not a problem. It's almost, he's talking about that United is going through a lot at the moment. He's talking about the damage, the direction the club he's, he's going in that he doesn't agree with. And he has to speak out about it because someone has to rebuild 
what has been broken. In a way, he's he's doing an interview, he's doing this interview, he's agreed to it, he knows what he signed up for, he knows the consequences, he's a smart man, it's Ronaldo. You know, he knows the consequences, he knows the backlash. But at the same time, it's Ronaldo, you know? He has nothing to lose. Are all of Ronaldo's comments from a place of rationale and logic? No, not at all. There's definitely some bitterness and frustration there, but then there has to be for you to sign up to a tell-all interview with Piers Morgan. Would he have ever done this to Sir Alex Ferguson? No, no, no. No, he wouldn't have. What people have got to understand, and I've seen a lot of rants online, that respect has to have broken down for it to reach this point where there is no resolution and it's just a spill of just word vomit that's come out in this interview. And when I say word vomit, I don't mean it's not calculated. I know a lot of it he has thought about in the past, he's processed, he's articulated it in the right way. But at the same time, there's certain things in that interview that, that just didn't need to be said. He doesn't, you know, he's reached that point in his career where he doesn't really care about what happens next? He's got nothing left to lose. The most dangerous thing about a man that's got nothing left to lose is exactly that. It's that they have nothing left to lose. This is almost him getting everything off his chest. The club and the manager have pushed him to this point. We can look at this from the view of a United fan who right now is probably screaming, Ronaldo hates the club. We hate Ronaldo. Get him out. Or oh, we can look at this logically and get to the root of why he said what he said. It's a combination of things. He's not, he's not just shitting on the club. He's given real life examples of what's led to the breakdown of his relationship with the club he loved so much and he does love United. Of course he does. There's no doubt about that. There's no questioning the love Ronaldo has for United and the fans that brought him back. There are mixed emotions amongst United fans right now. A lot of fans are actually pleased with the comments about the Glazers and about how the club is being run. They're glad that someone said it and you know what, Ronaldo is the man to deliver that message. But they're not as happy with the Ten Hag comments and the disrespect. But when you're talking about someone at the level of Cristiano Ronaldo, this is not new territory. We know Ronaldo has got the ego, the personality, but all of that is what has taken him to that next level. I'm seeing a lot of people that have turned on Ronaldo, United fans, Ronaldo fans even, that have just, things have just gone 360. There are people saying that he's made it all about himself. And my question to that is, well, what do you want him to do? He's, he's having a sit down interview with someone talking about his own personal experiences. What else do you want him to do? It doesn't matter if it takes the shine away from United. It doesn't matter if the timing's wrong. This needed to be said and he's delivered it. Ronaldo can't help being Ronaldo. You know, if the media decides to focus on this story rather than United's recent wins or successes, that's on the media, that's not on Ronaldo. He shouldn't have to sit in silence, afraid to make things about himself. After so many years of hard work, he deserves that at least. Ronaldo made a mistake coming back to Manchester United. He followed his heart. But really, he should have followed his head. It's the same as a child moving out of home, going to university, and then after a few weeks or years, feeling homesick, wanting to come back, missing the family, coming back home and criticizing their mum's cooking. He's in a way sort of ruined his own reputation, his legacy. I think deep down, Ronaldo knows that's the end of the road and he's going out with a bang, fair play. I think it's a shame. I completely understand why United fans are upset, disappointed, angry, all of the above. It's not the right professional way to bow out. He should have kept it professional, dignified and peaceful till the very end. But I also feel that he's Ronaldo. He's got nothing left to lose. So why not? It remains to be seen how United will react, whether they'll terminate his contract immediately or if they'll keep him till the winter. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the whole situation? Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for more extraordinary stories and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.